Okay, pre-trib rapture moment number 13. Let me ask you a question out there if you believe in a post-trib rapture. What are you afraid of? I've seen this thing that post-tribbers are very, very afraid. They have a lot of fear in them. Let me just show you a little statistic here. Now, I did this yesterday, May the 20th of 2013. I went to my old sermon audio page where you can check out statistics. Look at this. Right here, the sermon, Post-Trib Rapture Thieves, had 2,414 views, and yet, look down here, only 943 downloads. So that means approximately 39% of the people that viewed the sermon actually went on to listen to it. Now, why would that be? Isn't that kind of strange? And, by the way, you say, well, I, I've heard enough of pre-trib rapture belief, I don't need to listen to it, you're afraid to listen to us. No, actually, the whole sermon, post-trib rapture thieves, the whole thing, was me playing excerpts from post-tribbers and then me refuting it from Scripture. I'm not afraid to listen to post-tribbers. Why? They're an error. I have the truth of God's Word on my side. I don't have to fear this post-trib rapture teaching because it's a lie. But apparently, by the statistics there, apparently there are some post-tribbers that are awfully afraid of the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine. Hmm. And you know, another lie that I want to just debunk here very quickly is a lot of these post-tribbers will say, there's not one bit of proof, there's zero proof, zero scripture for a pre-trib rapture. Now that's just a flat-out lie. Okay, it'd be more accurate to say there are some arguments for a pre-trib rapture and there are some against it. I can deal with that. Okay, but to say that there's no proof, that just shows that you're a liar. Okay, shows that you're either a liar or you're extremely ignorant of the issue. And, you know, I'll say this too. About, I'd say, probably 90% of post-tribbers that I've ever run into, when I try to talk to them about it and I say, oh, here's some sermons I did that prove the pre-trib rapture, about 90% will say, oh, no, I don't want to listen to it because I've been over this stuff in the past. I used to be pre-trib, but now I'm not, and I don't even want to hear about it. They've closed their mind to even, you know, thinking that there could be a pre-trib rapture. And that, I'm supposed to believe, is, is a position that somebody who's spirit-filled would take. They can't even discuss their side of it. They can't even hear arguments against their side. What are they afraid of? You see, there's something more to it than just them saying, I don't want to hear about it. There's something more to this. Romans chapter 11, verse 25 through 27 says, For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. You know what that means? Proud. If you are wise in your own conceit, you are a prideful person. Listen, let's continue here. That blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. At the rapture there. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. Post-tribbers are wise in their own conceits. So I don't appreciate that. Well, you're going to appreciate it less as we continue. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2 says, When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Are you proud as a Christian? Are you so puffed up that you think that you're better than everybody else? Or do you say, I'm a sinner? It is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Do you boast yourself against Israel? Do you think that you are God's anointed, God's elect, somehow this great Christian that, that is so high above and so everything else? You better get lowly. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, before the mighty hand of God. You better humble yourself. As a Christian, you better be humble. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 3 through 4 says, The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Hmm. 
Question, post tribber Are you prepping for the tribulation? Are you laying up riches so that you can make it through without taking the mark of the beast? You say, well, no, I'm going to trust the Lord. Oh, come on. Come on. If you really believed that you were going into this time of Jacob's trouble, you would be prepping. You wouldn't be wasting your time here on YouTube watching videos. You'd be getting ready. Hey, if I believed that, if I believed that I was going to be put through this time of Jacob's trouble, I wouldn't be here wasting my time making videos for you. I'd be out getting ready to survive the thing. Don't give me this stuff. Okay, but if you're laying up riches for the time of trouble there, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. I'm not worried about being killed as a tribulation saint. Okay? Now, I could get killed as a Christian beforehand. I don't know. That's a possibility. You know, they're enacting hate crime laws and they're trying to come after Bible believing Christians. Sure, I could die before the rapture. I'm not saying that, that won't happen. But what I'm saying is, I'm not worried about being killed because I didn't take the mark of the beast. I'm not worried about it. Okay? Proverbs chapter 11 verses 5 and 6 says, The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Let me ask you a question. What treasures will await you at the judgment seat of Christ? Are you looking forward to the judgment seat of Christ? When the, rapture, when the rapture happens, how much righteousness are you going to have? How righteous of a person are you right now? Have you cleansed your life? Have you gotten rid of sin from your life? Are you going out and witnessing? Are you going and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ? Are you doing the work of the Lord? Or are you so busy watching what the latest thing is? You know? Are you so busy tracking the progress of the new world order that you're not doing the work of the Lord? You better think about it. And if you're a post-tribber, you better be open-minded enough to look at both sides of this issue. You better look at the pre-trib rapture doctrine for what it truly is. It is the truth. And the fact that a bunch of apostates out there are preaching it does not mean that it's false. Okay? Those apostates also preach that they're saved by Jesus Christ. doesn't mean that they are. All right? So, don't be narrow-minded, post-tribbers. Look into the fact that the, that the rapture is pre-tribulation. That's it.